I want to discuss a little bit about the market because we just got a bunch of Thunderstru uh, Thunderstruck upgrades. I want to talk a little bit about that with you guys. The Thunderstruck promo as a whole has done like phenomenal out of packs, you know. Diani obviously, you know, Diani was like one, I think one mil, just under a mil, and she's all the way up at 1.4. Obviously incredible card. Um, but yeah, even some of the, the lower tier cards are up so much, like Pemp. And when I packed her, she was like 190k and she's up to 300k. So I may actually sell her, but live cards always rule if there's if there's anything you can learn from what's happened here like live cards will literally always go up no matter what um upgrades are just op because cs has gone from 200 to 400k so the rises on these cards are absolutely crazy and do i think they stop they, pr they probably don't a lot of them just got upgrades today so i think people who are investing in stuff will probably sell and then as they start to potentially get that next upgrade they could go higher I think the largest win of all is that Joe Gomez, man. Joe Gomez went from 39 to 65K. Um, just crazy. But these cards, look, there's more upgrades potentially. So watch out for these guys, man. Bremer went up a ton. Jesus went up. Fakir. Um, if you were looking at Ansu Fati, this guy was under 400K. He was like 350 at some point. I mean, he's all the way up at, what is he, 550? Look how rare Fati is, bro. How does this guy only have one and a half pages during an entire Black Friday promo with supply? It just shouldn't be that way. So, yeah. Watch out for these cards. I think if there's any type of dip or something, we'll look. But even the lower tier guys, I was watching this Tierney. I packed him. He went from 13 to 16 already. Any of these guys that are going to be getting like more guaranteed upgrades play for a baller team, they're going to be really good to trade with. 